Hey guys and welcome to my first week with a jumping spider. As someone who has never kept arachnids before, this was all very new to me. Um, and as you can see already, her tank has changed a little bit and we have a lamp and we'll get all into it as I document her first seven days. So previously on day one, I unboxed her. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it here and below. <gasps> oh, I think she spotted it. I will say a lot of this um, footage from the week is me attempting to feed her. I think this is something a lot of uh, new owners will be intrigued in. Um, it doesn't always work out well, but as I said, I wanted to document this week as honest as I could um, so you can see what it's really like to own a jumping spider. Oh. Oh. Is that a I do not want you, get out of my house, or I am kind of peckish? I don't know. I don't know how spiders work. <laughs> So we've decided to move her into her enclosure just because I'm not sure if she's getting like drink or anything in here. Oh. oh she caught the fly. She actually just caught the fly. <laughs> So it's day three with Betty and one thing I think I forgot to mention in the video when I first got her is these spiders like bright lights um, and although the reptile room is one of the brightest rooms in the house I just don't think it's cutting it. I am actually thinking of getting her a little LED lamp or something something that doesn't give off any heat but makes things nice and bright but as you can see she's down here today now after she ate that fly she did leave the rest of it like the carcass or whatever um, in the feeding platform and she did start to form her own little web in there in the corner but when I came to see her this morning she was on the glass here and now she's here so it might be a good time to see if I can handle her because I haven't really handled her since I got her okay Betty I'm just gonna go and get my paintbrush just wait there oh just reversing Okay. Oh, there's like hairs on this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Where'd she go? Oh, oh, I found it. So I've been handling her for a bit and it's just so fascinating. I was watching a video on TikTok about how to direct your spider when handling. And since they usually go upwards, apparently if you sort of give them that opportunity to move up, they will. You see her little petty palps? I think that's how you pronounce that. It's so cute. See, initially I did ask for like a sub adult because I thought a baby would be too small for me and I'd lose it. And you know, being my first spider, you know, I'm not used to handling them. But actually, because this species is actually one of the larger kind of jumping spider species, it's not too bad to be honest. But I am looking forward to her growing because. She's still, she's still, as you can see, is very small. Something that is new to me, which is something that might be new to you if you are thinking of taking on a jumping spider, is keeping flies. Now, I have kept these in the fridge, but honestly, they look kind of dead to me. Like, I know they could be dormant, but I'm gonna leave them in the reptile room to heat up, um, and we'll come back later. One thing I think is kind of cool that I've sort of noticed is there's a routine established. So as you can see down here, she has a little web. And during the day, she comes out and hangs around like she is now, just uh, out and about. And then when it's nighttime, she just goes back there. So it's kind of cool to observe that. I didn't really think of that as like spiders having a little routine. And if she's ever particularly scared, she'll run back to that. Um, now, 
I was talking to Maria from Spoon and Nest and there is a chance that she may soon molt uh, but because she isn't spending all her time in there yet um, she may still take food so I'm going to try that later but I have a very special delivery coming for her today which I'm just waiting for. I got her a lamp so it just arrived and um, I'm just trying it out so it is dark in here. Uh, this one was only about £14 off of Amazon. It's really cool because it's kind of like touchscreen and you can like charge your phone on it. I don't know, kind of useless features that I really need, but it was cheap and it was cool and I will link it below if you are interested. The only downside is that you can't put it on a timer. It does not come on, so I'm going to have to manually put it on. But, so it came after the lights have gone off in this room really, so I am just putting it on, but look how she's already moving oh and by the way um i put an air plant in here because i went to take a photo of her on it and she started to go between the leaves i think the air plant's pretty much dead and where the leaves are curved around she started to hide and i thought oh, i think she likes that so i've actually put that in there i just put the light on maybe about five minutes ago uh, the blinds are still shut in here but instantly she's gone to the top of her enclosure and you can sort of see some webbing in there. So that's really interesting. I think I want to try to feed her later and just see if this maybe evokes a bit more of a feeding response, but that's really cool because she's been asleep in this plant like all night. Hi. So the fruit fly has actually moved into our home. I might have to um, take it out, but yeah, she just doesn't really seem interested. Her abdomen's fine though, she's active, alert, um, as alert as a spider can be. I have been told this can happen and spiders will just randomly go off of their food and try not to worry about it. But I think what you're seeing here is someone who has never owned arachnids before, literally having the first week experience as raw as it gets, just me being concerned she's not eating. So I have tried to keep handling to a minimum just because I was worried I was stressing her out. But um, I have to say, handling has been really fun. It's been a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and she seems to, like, not mind it. So that's always good. But, yeah, as I said at the beginning, I'd like this to be more of a sort of forum for new spider owners. And also, if you do have a forum you could recommend or, you know, um, I'd recommend the Spoodernest care sheets that's been helpful um and if there's a facebook group you want to promote feel free to in the comment section like i'm only here to learn um and if we can keep it nice and just helpful for people that would be awesome um because we're all just kind of trying to learn here um so i hope you've enjoyed this video of betty sue um if there's any more you'd like to see about her or maybe you just want to sort of advise me and use my platform as sort of a way to spread good information then i would be happy to oblige just get in contact um, but it has been incredibly fun having her for the first week uh, very low maintenance pet uh, but obviously i've just been concerned about her not eating but anyway i hope you've enjoyed today's video thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>